Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. This is the dramatic moment Secret Service agents shoot dead Donald Trump's would-be assassin moments after the ex-president was hit. Suspected shooter Thomas Matthew Crooks fired at Trump from a rooftop near to where the Democrat was speaking at a rally on Saturday, catching his ear and leaving him with a bloody face. Chilling footage filmed at the event in Butler, Pennsylvania shows Trump giving a passionate speech to his supporters before gunshots ring out. Trump is seen facing to the side when the first bullet is fired before quickly moving his head just inches as his right ear is pierced by one of the shots. The 78-year-old can be seen touching the side of his face as he falls to the ground to save himself from any more bullets. Secret Service agents then leap onto Trump to protect the man vying to become president again. Just seconds after Trump is hit, separate footage shows a crowd member filming agents stationed on a rooftop near to where the rally took place returning fire. What we know so far, two men armed with snipers laying on the building can be seen opening fire as bullets fly towards the shooter, reportedly killing him instantly. Law enforcement named the suspected shooter as Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Crooks, 20, is said to have positioned himself on the roof of a manufacturing plant roughly 200 feet outside the rally zone before shooting at Trump. One audience member was killed in the attack at Butler Farm show grounds and two others critically injured. The victims have not yet been identified. The harrowing clip goes on to show hundreds in attendance at the rally fleeing for safety from the stands. Panicked screams can be heard as more security rushes to get Trump away to safety and contain the area. The Republican was delivering a speech to a large crowd in Pennsylvania when he was hit by a sniper's bullet in the ear. Trump was swiftly bundled to the ground by his Secret Service agents who then led him away to safety. The ex-president pumped his fist as he was leaving, his face visibly dripping with blood. Trump took to his personal social media later on to say he was shot and the bullet hit him in the upper part of my right ear. He assured his fans that he was fine and was receiving treatment. A stunned eyewitness has described the moment he saw the suspected assassin crawl onto a nearby roof clutching a rifle before opening fire. We noticed a guy crawling, you know army, bear crawling up the roof of the building 50 feet away from us, he said. So we are standing there pointing at the guy crawling up the roof, he had a rifle, we could clearly see he had a rifle. Speaking to the BBC, he added, I'm standing there pointing at him for two three minutes, the secret service is looking at us from the top of the barn I'm pointing at that roof. And next thing you know, five shots rang out. Crooks was swiftly killed by the counter snipers as Anthony Guglielmi, chief of comms for the FBI, said he had been neutralized on the scene. Donald Trump was shot at his Pennsylvania rally on Saturday afternoon. 1 p.m. Doors open at the Butler Farm show grounds where Trump was expected to speak at 5 p.m. For 11 p.m., Sean Parnell gave the opening speech. 4.35 p.m., David McCormick rallied the crowd. 5.30 p.m., crowds were still waiting for Trump. 6.03 p.m., Trump takes the stage. 6.11 p.m., gunshots were fired as Trump delivered remarks. 6.12 p.m., Trump was ushered off stage by Secret Service agents. 6.42 p.m., Secret Service confirmed Trump is safe. 7.24 p.m., the shooter and one rally attendee are confirmed dead by law enforcement officials. 8.42 p.m., Trump confirms he was shot in the ear, sharing a statement on Truth Social. 8.49 p.m., the Secret Service confirms the shooter and a rally attendee are dead. Two others remain critically injured. Officers said they are looking into the motive for the shooting but have confirmed it as an assassination attempt on the former president. The FBI released a statement during the early hours of Sunday saying, The FBI has identified Thomas Matthew Crooks, 20, of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, as the subject involved in the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump on July 13, in Butler, Pennsylvania. This remains an active and ongoing investigation. The FBI managed to identify Crooks through his DNA with officials saying he didn't have a